I am sick and tired of losing money and making shit purchasing decisions that I regret later down the line. If you want to make better purchasing decisions, then you need to find your style, which will enable you to dress better and ultimately result in less cash loss. Here are the five categories that I think you need to focus on. Fit, accessories, color, function, and footwear. The fit of your clothes is without a shadow of a doubt the most important thing when it comes to putting an outfit together. If you're opting for an oversized tee, then consider the shape and fit of the trousers that you're going for. Also the length of the tee. Is the tee too long making you look a little bit short? A good test for this is to put your hands in your pockets. If you've got too much material at the front, then you probably need to either cut the tee or pick another tee. Usually when this happens, I just usually just cut my tees. This type of tee usually works better with a wider pair of trousers because it makes for a better silhouette. Conversely, if you are going for a slimmer pair of trousers, then I'd opt for a slimmer, more fitted tee. That being said, I would always go with wider leg trousers because they're a lot more versatile and they can work well with slimmer tees. But hey, I've found my style and I'm one dimensional. So if you want to play around with the silhouette and the shape, the cut of your trousers to have more variety, then of course, please do. Now, this one may be a little bit controversial and a bit contradictory, but jewelry isn't necessary. No watches, necklaces, rings, they all look nice, but do you really need them? Think about it. You should invest in your wardrobe where you can buy pieces and collect pieces that can unlock more options, more styles and more outfits, then go on to investing in jewelry, which frankly doesn't unlock much in your wardrobe. Like have a look at these two outfits. You know, you've got one where you've got some jewelry on and then one where I've swapped out the jewelry for more practical accessories like the cap and the scarf, which in doing so just adds more color, contrast, texture. You know, it makes more sense to invest in those practical accessories and then invest in jewelry and other accessories later down the line. Stick with neutral colors. That's it. No, but stick with neutral colors, especially if you're revamping your wardrobe or going through a style change. Why? Because you can unlock more outfits and more combinations with these types of colors. Stick with the likes of black, brown, beige, navy, gray, even denim all fit into this category. When you're putting an outfit together, stick to three to five colors as long as they complement each other. Have a look at this outfit here that I've put together. You know, we've got different colors, beige, green, black, gray and white but they all complement each other nicely but if you want to add your pops of color then add them mixed in with neutral tones i don't have a lot of color in my wardrobe but that's typically how i would style them now i know i'm being biased telling you to stick with neutral tones but trust me you want to do this as i've made mistakes in the past and i have paid for it obviously in cash however if you are someone who does love color and wants to experiment with other colorful pieces, then I will say just go wild, as clothes are the best way to express yourself. My definition of functionality mainly centers around comfort, and my most worn pair of trousers are my Ken joggers. And comfort is so important because if your trousers aren't comfy, then you ain't gonna gravitate towards them and you're not gonna wear them that much. So you're gonna be wasting your money. When it comes to legwear, I'll always opt for trousers with an elasticated waistband because it's comfy, it's practical, as opposed to wearing a pair of trousers where you're having to wear a belt, which looks great aesthetically, especially if you've got your t-shirt tucked in, but it scores low in terms of the comfort level. Like, you know them ones where you've just had a big ass meal, you're sitting there, you need to like undo a button, or you even need to just take off the belt completely. Like, yeah, I'm not classing that as comfy at all. Track suits, joggers, smart trousers with an elasticated waistband or a half elasticated waistband are the way forward for me because they're comfortable, they're practical and they just make a lot of sense. I think all trousers should just have some form of elasticated waistband because you can wear them without a belt and then you can smarten them up when you put on a belt too. But functionality, comfort, that's important. Just buy black shoes. That's it. But in all seriousness, when it comes to buying footwear, you probably do want to stick with either black or white as they're the most versatile and you can pair them with a number of outfits. 
but you do want to consider a couple of things especially when it comes to the fit of your, your shoes and trainers if they are too big then don't buy them if your heel is slipping at the back that's a clear indication that they're too big for you good sir or even good madam but a thicker sock should fix this and then if they are too tight for you or you're trying to force the purchase do not buy them for starters you want to have a pair of trainers shoes boots that you can wear all year round usually i'll opt for black white leather something that i can wipe clean but when it comes to the winter time i'm usually just going to stick with black trainers black boots because not as much dirt is going to show up as on your your white trainers when it's rainy out here in london but once you've got your versatile pair of trainers boots whatever it could be that you can wear all year round then you can branch out but in my opinion i think loafers are the epitome of versatility as they can be paired with shorts trousers smart casual anything loafers are the one hopefully those tips will be of some use to you and help you in making better purchasing decisions do me a favor please and hit that like and subscribe button follow me on only fans the link is down below and follow me on all other socials instagram and tiktok i'll see you in the next one guys peace mm -hmm.